All right, what better way to celebrate Mother's Day today than tributing a Wisconsin video to your mother, your spouse of your children? I couldn't think of one. So I decided to come out and shop and crank up the old THD. I've never done a video on this motor yet. And I gotta tell you, I got a soft spot in my heart for these THDs, man. It has got to be the best sound in Wisconsin ever. You get them tuned up right. They're a little bit vibration prone, but especially on a wooden table, but we're gonna get it through today. Just a few things about this motor. A guy gave me this thing year, about two years, three years ago, three, four years ago. And uh, he was gonna throw it away. He, and he'd been asking me for about five years before that. He said, man, would you please come get this motor? I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away, I don't want it. And he had it on an old log splitter. And then uh, he took it off and just put it in the barn and it ran, but it was extremely wore out. It came off of a uh, New Holland Baylor. That's why I went back with the red on it. I kind of added some different colors to it, but I wanted to keep it red because it did come off a New Holland Baylor. The throttle's in the back on it and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, kind of mixed things up on it a little bit. I did the nylon cam gear that I've always talked about. And uh, I'll show you one of those. So you, so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is a the cam gear that goes on a two-cylinder or a four-cylinder small block. And this just tremendously changes the sound on these motors. I mean, it takes a lot of the clatter out. Now this motor's a little bit loose. I mean, I put 20 over pistons in it and bored it. But uh, when I got it, it had been rebuilt before and it has a, uh, a Babbitt rod in it and a shell bearing rod in it. And they were both good, so I just put them back in there. And just kind of put a few different parts on it to make it cool. Also change the head out. You notice the head is not sticking out. It had an aluminum head from the factory, but um, I put a cast iron head on it to, to bring the noise down a little bit more. And this head doesn't protrude out like a normal cast iron head. This 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 head is off a, a VE4D, an original, the very first VE4D style. They had a really what I call a short head on them. So I'll show you that here in a second closer. But you can't. It doesn't protrude out of the out of the uh, air shroud like the uh, normal head does. The cast iron head or the aluminum head. It's kind of cool looking, so I decided to put that on there. But, anyways, let's crank it up. Let's see how she does.
there she is. Now you see this head. See how different it looks? I mean, it just kind of tucks right in there flush. I just kind of thought that head was cool, but man, it definitely makes it quieter. It really does. Cast iron heads, of course, run hotter, but for running on a bench, it really doesn't matter. It just sounds good. But that's it for this one, guys. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>